Good day, Dominic Nation, and welcome to the vlog. It is Thursday, April 14th, and Ninja's already sleeping. Uh, I noticed when I woke up this morning, my laptop bag was stolen. And uh, I'm like, why is my computer out? Who needed my laptop? And then I noticed like all the cables are out, even my little snack things that I need just in case I'm somewhere where there's no food. Um, I'm like, something's up. And then Carol's like, where's the bag? And I'm like, oh, the bag's gone. So Ben stole it. So I called him a thief. Thief baggins. Which is all Shoujo Ninja Buji Gigi Baba Gigi Bobo. Gigi Bobo. <laughs> uh, so right now I'm just, uh, just did the happy birthday shout outs and uh, I'm just compressing the footage to put into the video to put up online. Uh, it is 8 40. Um, Randall's coming over today to uh, talk about the, uh, the Raspberry Pi and his services. We're going to help him out, try to get some viewers over to the channel. You know what I'm saying? Right, over to his website. I've got to do the garbage, recycling, composting, friend of the recycling for me. Nice guy. Steals the bag, but helps me out with the recycling. Hmm. All right, so I got to get that stuff done. I'm going to do the, the vlog first because the garbage trucks don't come till like 10 o'clock. So. I've got at least a good 20 minutes of editing, compressing. Actually, while it's compressing, uh, that's when I'll do the garbage. Let's do it. I totally forgot to give you guys an update on, on how I feel after uh, a couple hours of, of training in a boxing gym. Uh, my shoulders are very sore when I do that. Getting up in the morning is a little difficult. Uh, my calves were sore yesterday, not that sore today. I'm um, just kind of moving things around, seeing what's sore. There are these really weird muscles that I've never felt sore before or sore. So I can't even explain. Like just, just in little spots. And I think that's from that, this the sudden stop. Uh, just does weird things to your body. Uh, anyway, so that was my update for uh, the training at the boxing gym. So I got all the garbage out. <laughs> Then I shaved, showered, tidied up. Randall should be here any minute. So I thought I'd use this moment to walk the dog, get him all peed out. And uh, then we, well, he won't be bugging us right in the middle of shooting a video or something. Um, yeah, I was just kind of the beginning of the week, looking forward into this week, looked incredibly busy and, and stressful, and it, and it was. Uh, and then as of today, it's fine, because tomorrow morning I can get up, put the vlog together, and then work on uh, the uh, deep fried poutine bacon wrap, deep fried poutine video, and uh, everything will be good. I'm gonna have to sneak out tomorrow and do a, uh, I'm gonna probably do the bacon, sorry, the, the cheese stuffed crust at Little Caesars because everybody's done it but me. And a couple people said it's the best pizza they've ever had, whether it's anywhere or Little Caesars, so. So we'll have to try that out. Give it a shot, see how it is. Got to do what's trending. That's that's the, the the key, the trick. It'll be really interesting to see how Friday's video goes. If it goes and it does really really well, then it's the food. It's the name of the food, because people, you know, anywhere outside of Oshawa will not know what Lakeview Burgers is. So, it's, and that's what I've been trying to teach Paul and, and kind of remind myself when I uh, got to do a pickup in a second uh, when we're looking at restaurants to do a review of their food uh, it's all about the name of the of the item uh, the thumbnail on the video the name of the video which is usually the name of the burger anyway I'll pick something up and I'll be right back and we're back in the house 
gonna finish this uh, Thursday Thursdays up, upload it, and then the rest of the afternoons with Randall doing stuff with uh, Cody and the Raspberry Pi 2. I think they've come out with a Raspberry Pi 3, I believe. Uh, don't hold me to that information. I got a voicemail, gotta take it. All right, guys, as you can see, Randall is here. Uh, this is my sister's husband, and uh, I th he decided to come over, or I asked him to come over to show me how to possibly uh, get some sports through the uh, Raspberry Pi and, and uh, through your system that you, you I purchased from you, that you gave to me, because <laughs> I'm so sweet. Uh, so we want to get, well, how are you doing, first I'm of doing all? I'm doing great, how are you doing? Thanks for coming by. No problem. So, uh, as you guys know from, it's probably within the top six biggest videos on my vlog channel, uh, I went to Randall's and he was showing me how to uh, use the Raspberry Pi and he gave me one to bring home and, and shoot, uh, put on my new system that I have here, which is awesome. Um, so I came over, we made a video on you know, what I'm going to do, how we're going to set it up, the whole idea behind it. And it's like probably one of my top six videos on the vlog channel. And so I thought I'd have him over again to show me how to do the sports part because that's something new. Yeah. When well, did that just happen? It's, uh, it's been developing a little bit uh, for the last uh, three or four months. They've just gotten better. Things are easier to find. Okay. Uh, it's, it, can, it can always be a little, a little dodgy at times trying to find something if you're not used to it. But uh, it's it's laid out fairly well. Uh, before we do that, I just wanted to before we forget, um, Randall's been defending uh, what he does and stuff because people are finding the Raspberry Pi. Let me show you what the Raspberry Pi is. It's a it's like one of the world's smallest computers, and so this is the Raspberry Pi, and you can buy that. So I heard on the internet for forty five bucks. But on Randall's website, it's 200 and... 265 for... Two, 265. Explain to the people uh, why you would charge $265 for something that people can get for 45 bucks. Well, uh, 45 actually 35 is what you'll see advertised from the manufacturer. Okay. And that is a bit of a myth because what that is, is that's the original price from the UK manufacturer, okay. British pounds, converted to US dollars, 35 US dollars. So that hasn't left, there's no taxes, there's no shipping, there's no nothing. Okay. Uh, here in Canada, if you were just to get it, you're, so, I mean, taxes, shipping, what have you, conversion of, of funds, already you're now up to $50, $60. And the one thing that they, they don't tell you too much is when they call it a computer, people think of a complete unit. Well, right. This computer is just the board. So, that so, so when I buy, if I went online right now and found a Raspberry Pi and said, I want the Raspberry Pi for 35 bucks. How much would that board get to me? How much How much would it cost just to get just yeah, the board? Just the board. Again, that would be, you'd be in the $55, $60 range. So, that. so when I get it in the mail, it will be little, literally be a circuit board yeah. and nothing else. That's what No box, yeah. nothing. Yeah. So if you're, if I was to buy that board with a cable, and that's the other thing too, it doesn't come with any well, cable. there's a number of things that you need. You got to think of it. You, uh, you you need a case. Okay. None of these components are terribly expensive, but they all add up. So you've got a case. You've got uh, you know, as Captain America says, seems to run on some sort of electricity. You need seems to cord. run on some electricity. Right? You need uh, you need to connect to your television. It's an HDMI cord. They're not very expensive these days, but they're they not used free. To be. Yeah. Uh, you need to connect it to the internet. So you need a, an Ethernet cord or a um, power line adapter but that's only for the Raspberry Pi 2s. Now the Raspberry Pi 3s have the uh, wireless uh, on board, oh, okay. which is great. But when we set ours up, we like to include an ethernet cord because we really think you should use a, a wired connection. You eliminate a lot of the, uh, the chances for buffering or interruption in the signal. And of course, you need an operating system. Well, the operating system's not on that board, like a conventional computer. So it's just like a computer with nothing on it. it with nothing, not even a-, a, a Buying a car without an engine. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> and the engine would be the little micro SD card. You need a good one, okay. and it needs to be configured. So when you add all that up, at least in Canadian funds, you're over $100, unassembled, nothing configured. So we take that, we put it together, we add the cord. Uh, instructions. Instructions. <laughs> and of course, you know, we got to time into it and, and test it. And test it. And of course, and then we back these things up for a year. And there's times throughout the year that I'll have to address each client. Usually it's just to do an update. We do the free updates 
and in the case of someone's far away, we send them a car, just like I did for you. I mean, yeah. coming driving to Georgetown to uh, almost up to Barrie, just to just to give you a card. Well, I mail it, and then there's a return envelope that comes back. All that costs money. Then there's promotion, websites. I mean, you name it. All the costs go up, and we're not nonprofit, so there is there's a profit in there. Yeah, that's right. It's a business. <laughs> it's, it's a business. Uh, you want to stay in business, so you can keep offering this service. Right. Where we get the people, uh, really well. I can do this. I, what do I need you for? Like, well, you don't. You know. I, I if you mean, know how to do it. If you know how to do it, it's like the analogy I gave you yeah. before. It's like you know, if I open up a garage, you know, don't be a mechanic coming up to my garage, ringing the bell and saying, "Well, what do I need you for? I can fix my own cars." Like, awesome. And the people who can do this themselves, awesome. <laughs> and if you're you can do it yourself, but you don't know where to go, check our website. We'll we'll give you instructions. We'll show. Get them at this place, a can of kit. Uh, get uh, in here some videos that you can find including ours, to help you work this, if you can do it yourself. It's not as easy as a lot of people think. Many, many people can master it. A lot of people can't. And some people are brilliant mechanics, pastry chefs. Right. Uh, they don't have time to... But they're not computer literate. They're just yeah. not computer... Like me. Inclined. <laughs> you know, some people take a look at computers. Some people still wrestle with email. Yeah. Not to mention any names. Right. <laughs> Let's don't go there. If we do, we're both dead. So yeah. um, that that's really where we're coming from. So we do offer a service. We do we do treat it as a business, but uh, this 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 fallacy of it's a thirty five dollar computer for two hundred sixty five dollars. Go ahead, put the put the comments down. It's great. We address them, or I try to address them wherever we can. Uh, Ken can as well. It's uh, it is what it is. It's like and buying a car kit. It, it is, you know. Uh, I'd rather have it all built and assembled so I can actually drive it yeah. as opposed to coming in a big box and i got to put it together. Yeah. Yeah. So, what were you going to say? So, uh, why, don't we, uh, why don't we show them uh, uh, finding the, some... Some, some uh, sport channel of some yeah. type. All right, so this is... Uh, I'm going to uh, just start off by turning the TV on just to show you that the computer is, like, on all the time. Uh, I'm going to go to my source. I believe it's HDMI 1. Or two, two. So it's already there. It's on all the time. If you ever have like some weird issue where it's not behaving, just uh, go over to it uh, because it's on all the time. And just unplug your power cord. Wait a second or two, possibly. Like what? if if it if it's not on, if it's if it's frozen or if there's something untoward, then do the, a hard reboot. Right. If you find it's just a bit sluggish, and sometimes just like any computer, it will need a refresh. That's where we tell you to navigate properly to the power screen and do a reboot, just like any okay. computer. Do right. You, if you can actually get there to reboot it. If you can. It. Yeah. If so it's if it's frozen, frozen then you have to unplug it. Or it hasn't been turned off. As you can right. see, there's no power switch. Yeah. It's just on so all there, the time. So the only way to turn it on, much like a, like many uh, modems, is just, just to power uh, recycle, which means disconnect the power, turning the power back on. All right. It's really Oops. simple. Drops the camera. What a noob. All right. <laughs> Maybe we should change jobs. You do this. And That's right. So uh, another thing uh, you have to buy for yourself is your own keyboard. And, and it's kind of funny and, and totally correct. If he supplied a keyboard, it would cost even more money to send it. So there'd be a shipping charge plus the cost of the board, plus the fact that everybody likes a different kind of board. His point. board's completely different than my board. I chose this board uh, only for the fact that I didn't want to have a mouse here as well as the board and this is a little pad that you can move stuff you can i think yeah, yeah so so right there there's a little pointer and i can actually move stuff around with that pointer which is great or select things whatever if i just if i leave it alone for a while just goes away. It, it should just disappear so uh, i just didn't want to have a, a mouse with batteries in it and a keyboard with batteries in it so i just went with this board and and again keyboards are a total preference thing and you're, you're absolutely right uh, there are people uh, who you can quite often use your own television remote, and for some people that's more than fine. Right. That's great. Some people don't want a, a lot of clutter. Some people they have like a Harmony remote, a more advanced remote. They want to incorporate that. There's just no pleasing everyone. And as you said, uh, why artificially raise our price for a keyboard? You run out to like a Target or I think Walmart. that was like twenty bucks. Twenty bucks. <laughs> yeah. You know why should I try and charge you for something you can just go get yourself? And anyone can do it because it's just USB plug. No, uh, no, no, no drivers, no setup. It just yeah. works. Yeah. So this came with a little fob, right? Is that what it's, it's called? Right. Like yeah, a little, little USB receiver. fob, yeah. little receiver. So that was on the side, I believe. 
And so that's it, my Logitech. And so now we have keyboard accessibility. And so let's try and find a sports event of some type. Uh, I, we should have tried to plan this around uh, the Blue Jays playing a game and see if we could find it. Uh, so let's go ahead. So what's the first thing we're gonna do? Okay, so the first thing, uh, and just using the arrow keys on our, uh, on our uh, keyboard here, we just go across, uh, there we are, sports, we hit enter. And you can see the uh, various sports uh, sections have been uh, set up. And there we go. And there's just a number of different ways to uh, to, to find these things. Uh, one of the one of the uh, best ones right now uh, we're finding is is Pro Sport. Okay. And if I hit Enter there, that takes us into the that particular video add-on. And as you can see, it's already broken down. Nice. So we yeah, go to uh, NBA, baseball, NHL, MLB. We hit enter. I don't. I wonder why it doesn't come up with its own little logo. Uh, it looks like that, 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 that is down. Okay, well, it's down right now. That happens. That happens. So. Let's go to football. Well, I guess there's no football right now, so. Well, it could be that there's updates going through the system because there are no games on right now. Right. So, but that's fine. That's fine. The reason you we include more than just a couple of, uh, of uh, add ons is so you can. Actually, there we go. Go oh, up sorry. one more. Whoops. It changed at the oh, last second. Oh, did you it change the last second? It. Oh, okay. No, actually, this is the one I want. Oh, it is? Yeah. Okay. This is Sports Devil. Um, and as you can see, it's broken down different ways. Here's where you're doing a little more hunting. Um, if I was looking through this, and you just get, to, you just get uh, familiar with, with some of these uh, things. So if I was looking for a baseball game in here, there's got to be one, one on today. Well, there's probably one. <laughs> that happens. <laughs> okay, I'm a noob. I forgot. I only have one Ethernet cable going to this part of the house, and so because I was watching Netflix last night, uh, I had the Ethernet cord, which is the blue one, plugged into the television, and uh, I wonder if I could plug a small Ethernet from the television into the box. No, because. Yeah, maybe. Well, from wherever you have a port. Yeah, I just need to, I just need to run another um, cable over here to have... I'm just sharing it between the television and the Raspberry Pi. So I've plugged it in now. Oh my <laughs> Randall's going to look for it the proper way. <laughs> so it went to the sports. Jeez. Uh, we'll try again. We'll try it's like bit. sabotage, poor guy. Yeah. But, okay. you know, people are going to run, in. now it's gonna there. run into this. You know, Check that out. Now we've got the baseball logo happening. People are going to run into issues though, right? People, Every once in a while. Yeah, and, and you know what? Here we go. You can see. This is awesome. All of these not started, not started. So all of these, uh, and they, they show you the time. So 12.35, that one will come up. And uh, you just work your way down through that. So Yeah, so in, in six minutes, uh, that game's going to start. And you know what's funny is I think it, there was actually in order in which they started. Yeah, they, they don't go by time, sure. Yeah, it's like... Nice. So there's another game starting at 105, and you then can, 110. You can also see, because you haven't been connected to the internet, I guess, now for some amount of time, this is where the, uh, oh, the right. system is going to do self-updating any of the add-ons. And most of the programs, most of the add-ons on here, will self-update. Uh, it's very rare that, uh, that that won't happen. If it does happen, if you find an issue, check our website. And uh, it's probably something that's uh, fairly common, or even if it's just new. And we can give you tips and news on, on what's going on with the various add-ons. Uh, so just to show you how cool this is, um, we're going to uh, wait like six minutes. I'm going to shut the camera off. Wait six minutes, and then we'll see if we can get right on to that Tigers versus the Pirates. All right, guys. It is quarter to one, so the game started about... 10 minutes ago um just grabbed ourselves a beer because we're gonna watch a little bit of a game and uh one of the things we also wanted to cover was the fact that one of the things that instantly you can tell if you don't have the internet so i live in an area where every once in a while we lose the internet so if you're to turn the television on go to watch this raspberry pi uh it would tell you right away by the date right you're saying That's right yeah if so you if they, don't, uh, if you if you're not connected to the internet, uh, where it says there Thursday, April 14, 2016, it'll say something like you like know, the last time you had it on. 
No, it'll it'll go back to like December third, nineteen sixty nine. Oh, okay. Yeah, or 1970. It'll it'll be like a really odd thing. So if the so if the time, temperature, uh, or sorry, I guess temperature, date, yeah. and time, if that's off, then you know something's wrong. You're not so to the I from now on forward, I'm, uh, as soon as I turn it on and I see if that's if that's wrong, then I uh, have the television plugged into the Ethernet, or someday I'll just put another Ethernet cable back there, and and I'll have two Ethernet cables plugged into the right things. Awesome. All right, let's get to the sports. Okay, so back again we go. So we're gonna go across. There we are, sports. And we hit enter. Comes our pop up. Uh, pro sport, that was one. And again, there's uh, there's some of the things we were looking at. So uh, we're gonna go MLB. I hit <coughs> enter. And bring it, oh, in progress. And Check that out. Look at that. It's green. In progress. So if we just hit that. It'll give us uh, some uh, possibilities for streams. See what we have available. Oh, just the one. Only one stream. So we'll, we'll try that. We one. love Streamboat TV. Uh, <laughs> and they'll have odd names. You know, don't yeah. go by the TV. There, there you go. go. We're watching a game without a cable. Nice high without, guess. without cable. A couple of home runs for the Pirates, a team that really so, not have so awesome. a whole lot of power. I look forward to this big time. Uh, like I was telling Randall just before uh, we started doing this, is it's because I've been to so many NFL games now, uh, and the fact that the Blue Jays did really well last year, I'm really starting to become a sports fan. And uh, so I'm so glad I could at any time I want turn on. Uh, Randall system and and watch live sports. This is happening right now, which is absolutely fantastic. And this is this has happened within the last what three or four months? Three or four. I mean, there's always been sports out there. It's just there's just been some better add-ons uh, done again by enthusiasts, by hobbyists, and that pieces together. And you can't always find it on, on one. Maybe you might have to look at another one. Um, but uh, you know, again, check the website. Look to see what's popular. Do your own web searches. Check on Google to, and, and say what, where can I find something on a, on a Cody-based system. Uh, very important to say this is not a Cody. Box and right. any of these Android boxes and stuff. Let me like shut that, the audio off. Yeah, that say um, you know uh, this is a Cody box. You know that really bothers the people at Cody, uh, and rightfully so. They they have nothing to do with third party add-ons. Uh, and this is a third party add-on. And, and all of these that that we have loaded here, most of them anyway, are you know third party add-ons that we've uh, found out of the thousands that are available uh, to. Uh, to bring you the most concise, uh, best collected uh, set of uh, apps, add-ons, uh, to to get television shows, movies, uh, sports, music. This is awesome. Yeah. All right, guys. So we're going to sit back, enjoy your beer, watch a little bit of this game, and uh, <laughs> he's going to need another one. Uh, <laughs> and uh, just enjoy this, this the sports add-on to uh, the system. Uh, so if you guys want to enjoy sports yourself, uh, just call Randall. Uh, the link is in the description below. Um, or you can tell them the website is just UPRHomeSystems.com. www.uprhomesystems.com. And uh, check us out. Check the website out. Buy your own Cody box and he'll set you up. And if you're within how many kilometers will you help them set it up? We take it on a case by case basis. Oh, okay. Uh, a lot, I mean, I have customers as far away as, uh, you know, anywhere in the States. Uh, send it and some in some cases they call and they say okay i'm ready to set up what do i need to do and i work with them if, if i can't be there uh, otherwise uh, there's some value to uh, getting an, an installation and uh, we don't just install it we make sure that your system make sure like you know in the case with you with your ethernet cord right find the most efficient way for them to do it and uh, sometimes it means a, a longer cord or you know running out to a place like best buy or something and getting a, another piece of equipment that they may need Getting them set up so they've got the best possible, and that's why we call it home systems. Right. We don't brand these boxes. We're more of a service. The difference being we don't charge you monthly for that service. Right. We provide you, we get you set up, and that's part and parcel of, of what we charge for. Nice. Yeah. Very cool. Congratulations on your success of this business. Thank you. And uh, thanks for my raspberry pie. And I'm glad I can now watch sports. Just like you. <laughs> Paul and I are finished shooting the video, watching the cooking review that just went up yesterday, which we're very happy with. 
It's, yeah, doing, it's doing very well. So I just cleaned up. Just cleaning up some stuff. We've uh, lined up our drinking for the night. <laughs> just kidding. Um, yeah. So all in all, it was a good night. Got what we want done, and we're gonna go for a walk soon. Burn off some calories. Burn off lots of calories. Paul's gonna piggyback me. Huh. All right, we have done almost nine kilometers. We're coming up on our, we've done almost three laps. Yeah. We've got, probably got one kilometer left, maybe less. But it was a good walk, lots of talking. Work off the fajita. The fajita is gone. One of the things uh, Paul and I were chatting about was about the, the future of Cook and Review and uh, just some of the possibilities that, you know, start maybe working on like 13 week um, seasons kind of, and maybe possibly do theme weeks and th theme months and, and, or just go complete random at it. <laughs> <laughs> And just go crazy. Anyway, so when we, we when we yap like that, the the walk goes by really fast. I know. Like when we first started going, I'm like, oh my gosh, nine more kilometers to go. Oh, this is killing me. Oh. After after the the first lap, I'm like, yeah, let's just stop. But we kept going. Yeah. We persevered. Yeah. All right, guys, to finish off yesterday's vlog, got home, let Carol and Megan listen to the song that Kelly and I put together just to get some feedback from them. They liked it. And um, and then I watched a whole bunch of Louis C.K. videos on YouTube and just went to bed. And now it's time for happy birthday shout outs for Friday, April 15th. And they are Divium, Chris, Jason, Mo, Gregorio, Michael, Jonah, Jason, Devin, Sean, and Sam. Happy birthday to every single one of you guys. Don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below as to what you had for your special birthday dinner, whether you ate in or you ate out. Happy birthday.